Hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. May the good Lord bless you and guide you in Jesus name. Amen. Our topic today is God's favor will change your life. God's favor will change your life. Let us pray. Father, we bless your holy name this day. We thank you for every good thing you are doing in our lives. Father, we thank thee you are so good to us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. God's favor will change your life and you already have it. Here, I'm going to set some points to assess the favor of God each and every day for you how would your life look if you were surrendered all day and every day by god's favor how different will things be if doors opened for you and you walk through each one covered with god's favor when your actions and attitudes in every situation be any different if you know beyond any doubt that success lies ahead because you are one of God's favorites. Would you find the courage to lay down your anxieties and fears? Of course, you would. The truth is, God's favor will change your life. In this video, I'm going to give you some points to help you assess God's favor each and every day. Are you ready? Let's get started. Number one is, you already have God's favor. Many Christians believe they have to somehow end the favor of God. But the truth is, we already have His favor. God saved us because of His favor towards us. Let us read the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yours, it is the gift of God. The New K G V Bible. Simple put, grace is favor. God's favor is the power that changes things for us. First and foremost, you and I are saved by his favor. And I'm not just talking about going to heaven when we die. To be saved means to be delivered, protected, preserved, healed, and made whole. God's favor covers every area of our lives. By His favor, He has taken care of everything we will ever need, spirit, soul, and body. His supernatural grace is so vast, the Bible says, it's going to take all the ages to come for Him, to show us all the riches of His grace and the kindness He's given us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2 verse 7 you may be thinking, oh, I can't wait until I get to heaven so I can experience the fullness of God's favor. You don't have to wait. God is pouring out his favor on us right, right here and now. Even before we were born again, he was giving us his favor. While we were still rebelling against him, God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 It was God's grace that work in your life that enabled you to be born again. From the moment you stepped into that new life, the moment you met Jesus Lord, God's favor began working non-stop on your behalf. Being born again was just the starting place. Amen? Yes. God's favor cannot stop working in our lives. And He will pour out grace and more favor to you every moment of your life if you will receive it. Have you made Jesus the Lord of your life? You can do it right now. Okay? Psalm 5 verse 12 says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, with favor, you will surround him as with a shield. 
That scripture is talking about the born again child of God who serves him. It is talking about you. Jesus made you righteous. When Jesus shed his blood, he made righteousness available to all mankind, and with it came the favor of God. God's favor surrounds you constantly. You have been born again into his righteousness. We should always see ourselves right in God's favor 24 hours a day. Every morning when you get up, threw off the covers and jumped out of bed saying, I am the righteous Lord. Your favor surrounds me like a shield. Learn how to live in God's best and always praise God and thank God. Worship God. Number two is you receive God's favor by faith. Now, you may be thinking, I know a lot of believers who don't enjoy the kind of favor you are talking about. That is what so many people tell me. Their lives are full of tragedy and disappointment. Why doesn't God surround them with favor? God does surround them with favor. They just don't know it. So they can't take advantage of what he has given them. You see, according to 2 Peter 1 to 2, chapter 1, verse 2, God's grace is multiplied to us through knowledge. The first thing you have to do before you can receive the benefits of God's favor is to know they are yours. Then you have to receive them by faith. Remember, Ephesians 2 8 says, God's God saved you by his grace. God's favor provides every possible blessing and goodness he has to give, starting with being saved. Your part is what? Faith to believe and receive all he has given to you. So where do we get the faith to receive? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. We find out the truth about God's favor goodness and blessing as we hear his word on these things faith comes we believe and begin to receive what his word says amen god knows everything about you so child of god believe believe one of my daughters asked me a question, Mommy, where do we find the faith? And I told him that faith comes by hearing the word of God. When you, are he when you are in sickness and believe in God, God will heal you. Okay? Because healing is part of God's doing. He will heal you. He will make a way in your life. Number three is God is searching for someone to bless with his favor. Sadly, many times we are slow to receive God's favor. We think we are waiting on him when he's actually waiting on us to receive. You see, God has already done everything it takes for you and me to be fully cared for while we are living here on earth. He has provided every blessing, health, prosperity, peace of mind, joy, deliverance from sin, and everything that pertains pertains to our good life. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Then he tops it all of with life in heaven when we leave this earth. It's all part of his favor. All we have to do is to stay ready to receive. Actually, this earth, God still shows us his favor. Okay? And I want to tell you one second in the book of Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 tells us the eyes of the Lord run to, to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the, on the behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him. Perfect doesn't refer to someone who never makes a mistake. No, it makes someone who is loyal, devoted and faithful. This kind of heart is always ready to receive the good things His grace provides. May you be blessed and may the good Lord guide and protect you for you to stay in this world and be happy 
and God will bless you and favor you all the time. In Jesus' name, amen.